Son of a glitch. Streets of Rage 2. On these mean streets, it's not only the punks bringing the pain, oh no. Hidden in the shadows are some pretty entertaining glitches, so let's take them down. It's possible that enemies can throw you into angled walls like this one in the first stage. If you're in just the right spot, usually at the corner of the wall, and you're thrown to the right, chances are you'll land inside the wall. This is possible because in fact there are no walls as such. The ground and the walls in a stage are of course 2D, with the top part of the screen being out of bounds. The walls are just collision that you cannot bypass. But when you're accidentally thrown out of bounds like this, you're able to move around in the wall. Inside the wall, enemies in bounds won't be able to hurt you as they cannot go out of bounds. But interestingly, enemies that spawn in from outside the screen can be placed on the same horizontal line that the player is on, as you see here. It's also worth noting that you're not stuck inside the wall. Pressing down on the D-pad will clip the player back in bounds where they should be. It's also possible that certain attacks can get you out of bounds too, as seen here with Skate. Once again, enemies won't be able to get to you, but some have attacks that can damage you even out of bounds. And if you die, the game will put you back to where you belong as expected. Here's an interesting glitch during screen transitions. Pressing the start button to pause the game when a transition begins can have some strange effects. Now bear in mind that the timing of this is very precise, but you'll know if you do it correctly. Effect 1 is that when the next area loads, there won't be any music, just sound effects. It's possible that the music is still in a paused state, which is to say that music doesn't play when the game is paused. This state is returned to normal if you once again press the start button to pause the game, and the music will return. Now that's the least exciting effect of pausing during a transition. What you really want to see is effect 2. Pause before a transition while doing an attack, and you'll get something like this. The attack will carry the player off the stage in some hilarious ways. This has got to be one of my favourite glitches in the whole game, but it's not as easy as just pressing pause as the transition starts. It seems there's only one or two good frames to press pause to actually get this glitch to work, but if you get it, man is it fun to watch. Here's an interesting glitch you can do from the very beginning of the game. Get Axel to stand next to the trash like this and then have Max stand close enough for Axel to grab Max. Press left on the D-pad as Axel to have him exit the grab and now Axel will be stuck, unable to move too far left or right. Next, have Max grab Axel and then perform Max's atomic drop by pressing and holding right on the D-pad and pressing the C button, and then in mid-air press the B button. Because Axel is stuck in place, he won't actually move with Max and thus won't take any damage. Max will be able to return to where Axel is and you can repeat the move again and again. Now this may not seem like much, but check out Max's points at the top of the screen. As you repeat the move over and over, the points begin to increase, giving you the potential of reaching the maximum amount of points in the first stage. At every point milestone like 20,000 points, you'll be awarded an extra life. This glitch will end once the timer runs out, but then you can simply start the glitch all over again. And the fact that this glitch gives you lives quickly makes it one of the most useful glitches in the game. Okay, moving on. During the first boss, Barbon can block attacks, even special attacks such as Max's Thunder Tackle. Even when blocking enemies block a special attack, they eventually take a small amount of damage. But for whatever reason, Max's Thunder Tackle can glitch their health bar. This happens somewhat randomly under certain conditions it seems, but it's possible to take down Barbon with one of Max's Thunder Tackles. That is one powerful tackle. This glitch can also be used to increase points fast with other blocking enemies, like here in Stage 7. Look at those points go! There's a way to crash the game, but this one takes a bit of preparation. You need player 2 to grab an enemy, who will then just stay in place without moving. Next, player 1 needs to be thrown into the air to hit player 2's grabbed enemy. Just as player 1 hits player 2's grabbed enemy, player 2 needs to perform a throw. Now results will vary, but here the game locked up, which then needed a reset. Other results can occur like glitched out graphics or enemies, like here this guy just gets stuck and flickers in place. He can still harm the players, but can no longer take damage. And this glitch will end once the stage is over. When player 1 hits an enemy at the same time player 2 throws that same enemy, the game thinks that player 1 performed a throw, not player 2, and that causes the game to execute strange things. Here's a small glitch you can have fun with. When scene transitions start, the borders at the side of the screen disappear, so you're able to jump outside of them like this. It's a very small glitch, but it is what it is. And finally, probably my favourite glitch of the entire game. 
as a scene transition is about to begin, quickly kill your partner on their final life so the continue option appears. This will be carried over to the next scene and the other player's character will appear on screen dead. They then just casually tag along for the rest of the stage. It's okay guys, just ignore her, she's always doing that. I just love the way the screen pushes their bodies along the ground as you move through the stage. It's like you're taking them for a walk. If you choose to continue, the second option will appear allowing you to cycle through the characters and they'll still be in their death poses. Unfortunately, the glitch will end when you enter a new stage. But there you have it guys, some funny and interesting glitches you can try out in Streets of Rage 2. And if you like this episode, hit that like button, share it with everyone you know and love, but most importantly, please subscribe if you want to see more from the series. Head over to the Facebook page for the show, I post updates and sneak peeks to upcoming episodes and keep you guys in the know about all things Son of a Glitch. Or you guys can follow me on Twitter and keep updated that way. Also, I stream on Twitch whilst making episodes, so you guys should check me out there too. You know, if you want to.